Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your man Bob over at Smoking Fiend Productions. Right, so I figure I'll try it on try out a uh, new type of video. It's gonna be looking at some uh, just what I think are some just ridiculous video game commercials. You know, you see these things, um, you know, on other people's uh, channels. You know, they'll use it in like footage to talk about you know certain products, items. But uh, you know, these commercials um, are very interesting. And a prime example is this commercial for the uh, GameCom console, all the way from uh, 1997. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this commercial and, uh, you know, I'm just going to, well, comment on it because it is ridiculous. All right, let's do it. Tough guy. Get a help here. All right, so... Uh, first things first here, we have the Hawaiian Punch guy. Uh, you remember the guy on the uh, Hawaiian Punch, um, you know, cover? That's him. He sideline uh, selling game comms uh, for uh, Tiger Electronics here. Right, so you see he's here with his uh, fruit roll-up suit. About to uh, just make the announcement here. Right. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta go back here. Let's go back. Let's just... Alright, what's this guy's problem? <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That guy's doing bath sauce or something. My goodness. He is too excited. And this little shirt guy just got on the stage. He's like, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. But nothing better to do than play games and surf the net all day. Game Call! Bring those bloodshot eyes on these babies! It's Meeks! That's rock. Wow. You know, how uh, sad is it they couldn't just find a podium for this guy? Like, in like a little, like, stool for him to just get on top of. They gotta have him standing on some dude's uh, back here. Hey, that's just, you know... But, uh, yeah, so these are some, po these are supposed to be, they're making it seem like cutting edge graphics, right? So this is Duke Nukem 3D, obviously. Um, you know, this is like, yeah, it's black and white graphics, black and white gra graphics. And, uh, you know, this had a 8-bit uh, processor. And this is a product that they're marketing in um, 1997. It's just like, would you buy that? Like, like would you want to buy that? Like, I, I don't know. Look at it. The, the screen is so small. It looks dark as I don't know what. And, uh, well, it just looks like some cheap, plasticky bull crap that you see. But, sorry if I'm talking too much, right? Just want to see, like, you know, the reaction here that these kids have. Like, my God, like, can these kids be that easily impressed? Like, how many of them at home right now, you know, probably have uh, PlayStation 1s or Nintendo 64s or, you know, um, what was it, Sega Saturns, right, 1997? No, I guess by 1997, the uh, Sega Saturn was um, discontinued. But, you know, there's better things that are being offered right now, and here's Tiger just marketing this piece of crap. Bloodshot eyes on these babies! It's Meeks! That's rock. Thanks to be touched! Alright, you know damn well I was gonna, like, talk about that. Just gonna play that back again. to be touched! <laughs> Pegs to be touched. <laughs> All right. 
You know, if I didn't know any better. Let's just replay that again. Thanks to be touched! <laughs> Alright, so like, for that guy, was that guy locking like eyes with that kid? Like, was he telling him, like, was he like asking for like a request? To be touched! Like, seriously. I think that's what's going on here. Him and this like kid, this random kid in the audience. Like, they're just, like, locking eyes, and he's making a request for this kid that he probably shouldn't be making, but whatever. Wires you to the internet! And it plays more games than you idiots have brain cells! Duh, what's the brain cell? Any questions? Man, what's this guy's problem? Jesus Christ, he's just insulting everybody. Hey, how much does it cost? Moron! It's like, yeah, that's a good way to sell your product. Like, someone's asking you how much it costs, and you're calling them a moron. Gamecom, the ultimate portable game. <laughs> Holy... <coughs> <coughs> Wow. Alright, they just killed the little Hawaiian punch guy. They they, they, they killed him. They, I, obviously, it's a dummy, but... You know, if you ask me, right, when watching this commercial, it was always my theory that these kids hated the Gamecom so much. They hated it so much, just seeing it. Just seeing what they were trying to sell to them. Right, they hated this thing so much, they rushed the stage and they killed the little Hawaiian punch guy. And his body was never seen again. His body was never seen again. Right, so, you know, that does it for the Tiger Gamecom. Right, the Tiger Gamecom. Uh, yeah, this thing, uh, you know, wasn't around that long. Uh, you know we're gonna be taking some uh, taking some uh, information and in on the uh, system itself. All right, so I just pulled up the wiki page for this thing. So this was made by Tiger Electronics. Um, no doubt you heard of Tiger Electronics. They did all the little handheld watches. Uh, you know, probably how many they made for these. Um, you know, they made, well, it sold 300,000 units, but, you know, it's anyone's bet that there was even a demand for this, this many, like, systems here, right? But, you know, this lasted from 1997 to year 2000. You know, as a kid watching this, you gotta understand, like, you know, um, you know, when they're selling products, they're gonna have older kids in the commercials, and, you know, younger kids are going to be at home watching that. And they're going to be like, oh, man, I want to be cool like the 14 or 13-year-old I see in the commercial. And, you know, uh, companies do this to this day. That's why I like toy ads. Like, you'll always see, like, kids who are just slightly older, you know, playing with toys, you know, t that are meant for a certain age group, right? Like, Nerf Guns does it. Nerf Guns will have, like... You know, teenagers playing, like, with Nerf guns in the backyard. But, you know, in reality, a teenager's going to probably want a BB gun or an air gun or, you know, some areas a real rifle. Right? You know, they'll, they'll, they'll look at a Nerf gun like, oh, that's, you know, that's corny. But, you know, a little kid, right, between, like, you know, the ages, what, 10 to 13, that they're going to be like, yeah, I want a Nerf gun. I want a Super Soaker. Same thing with this thing right here, like, you know, the Gamecom. The, you know, I'm not really sure of the lifespan, but by then, you know, you had the Game Boy Color. If you wanted a hand, hand if you wanted a handheld system with a library of games, right? Um, you know, you, your best bet is buying a Game Boy, obviously. But yeah, let's look at this thing. Sorry if I'm talking too much here. All right, so at least um, September 12th, 
uh, let's see, all the way to 2000 Ooh, seventy dollars. I guess that's cheaper than a Game Boy, right? Oh, you know, fewer than three hundred thousand. Yeah, and uh, cartridges there. Touch screen. I wonder how many people lost that little pen it came with. Oh, so look at this here. So they actually made two editions for the um for the game dot com thingy majiggy so the first one had four had a power of uh four double a batteries while this one had only um you know two right and wait pocket pro am i getting that mixed up is pocket pro like a whole nother like attachment oh no it was an updated version okay it was an updated version and they sold it for like half the damn price. Like, wow. They sold it for half the price. So, you know, I wish we could see some like better pictures of this. Because um, one of the more ridiculous things about this console is the fact that it had two, um, you know, cartridge. cartridge. <clears throat> I don't know why I can't talk. It had two cartridge ports. Cartridge, you know, cartridge. Had two ports, um, but you know there was basically nothing you can really even do with the second port. All right, of course black, uh, white. So it had a uh, similar design to the Game Gear. Okay, yeah, I can see that. You know, of course the uh, Game Gear had a color screen, had a brighter screen. Wow, you know, compared to. You really see the difference here, right? All right, so let's check out the games that they have for it. All right, so the built in games included Solitaire, Batman, and Robin. Oh, the Joe Schumacher. I think the Joe Schumacher, Batman, and Robin. I don't know. This this one always gets like, like a lot of bad credit, obviously, right? But you know, the movie was okay, the movie was bad. But, you know, you didn't watch Batman movies for Batman back then. You watched it for the villains. Batman movies always had the best, like, villains. Like, you always had some, like, amazing actors playing Batman villains. Even in the worst Batman movies, you know, you had amazing actors uh, playing Batman movies. Uh, playing in Batman movies. Right? Alright, Centipede. Duke Nukem 3D. Sure, it was very, very, very 3D on the Game Gear. Fighters Mega Mix. Well, that looks like Virtual Fighter, doesn't it? Frogger. Okay. I don't know what Henry is. So, oh, Jeopardy. Lights Out. Lost World. Monopoly. Oh, the Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Resident Evil 2. How would they get Resident Evil 2 on there? I don't know. And I got some Williams Arcade Classics. Oh, so, you know, who exactly, you know, obviously their target market was teenagers and kids, but, uh, you know, no, no, no teenager kid's going to want this for their birthday or for Christmas, right? So it just doesn't seem like it's that good of a gift at all. Now, it did have some features, right? So, we got internet and dial-up here. Which is, um, I guess if you want to send emails, 1997. Wasn't sending many emails in 1997. Oh, my God. Remember when you had to, like, not be on the phone while somebody was on the internet? Or was it like that? I don't know. All right. But, you know, that's my uh, look at the Tiger... You know, Gamecom commercial there. Um, you know, this commercial is nuts. And it truly will always be like, you know, just one of my absolute, you know, favorites. All right. So, uh, thank you for listening to a nerd rants about some old console no one cares about, obviously. Uh, if you like these types of videos where I'm looking at these commercials, you know, just commenting. And talking a little bit about, you know, whatever it's being advertised. Uh, you know, make sure you sh uh, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Thank you.